what's up guys lightning eagle 14 here soaring back into your everyday life with another video in this video we're going to be reviewing this which is the dino charge morpher gun that i picked up at my local goodwill a while ago and yeah so i didn't actually know what this gun was when i first found it i had to look it up slash ask for help on the reddit yeah, so let's go over an overview of the features. The, it, it has a back, it primes through the back here like a night finder or fire strike or something of that nature. And the interesting thing about it is that it has a two stage trigger. You can see if I pull the trigger once, shoot one dart, and then again, it shoots the other dart. And the performance is terrible, but more on that later. Um, it also has storage for two dart holders here on the bottom, as you can see, and it also, I believe, somehow connects to other versions of this gun through these little tabs right here. I believe it slots in there, I'm not completely sure, but that's what I'm guessing it does. And then it also has some other funny bits on it, like this little piece here, which I'm guessing also is used to connect to other versions of this gun. So that's basically an overview of all the features of this gun. Uh, let's move on to the internals. Alright, so you can see here that I have opened it up, and we can um, tell that the plunger tube is, or the, um, that it has two plunger tubes here, one and two, and I'm not sure how it gets that two-stage trigger part, but... This right here appears to be the catch mechanism. This is obviously, well, this looks to be part of our plunger. This is what actually seems to be priming back the plunger tubes. And um, it looks like it has separate plungers that are inside of the plunger tubes that are pulled back by the this piece here. So it looks like I'm also losing pieces here. That's okay, I don't think that one was important. I'm going to see if I can um, open this up and take a look at what kind of springs we're talking about here. And you can also see that the, that the reason for it getting such poor performance is the absolutely minuscule size of these plunger tubes here. See if I can get this off. All right, so we are free. And yeah, this is our, this right here is our plunger tubes. That is literally all we have to work with here. The rest of this is just barrel. Oh, that also might be a reason why it's getting such poor performance. If you can see here, the only place that the air actually can escape from are these tiny little holes right here around the edges of these the edges of the dart posts so horrible airflow maybe you could get better um, performance if you increase the if you just cut this whole part off right right here across the edges here then you might be able to get better performance let's see if we can get the this cap here off hmm thinking it's either glued or held on with these tabs here. Oh, aha, there we go. So now, very well greased, these are our plunger tubes. That spring is just absolutely minuscule. So very unsurprising as to why we are getting very, such bad performance. And you can kind of see through the back there that 
where, well, I can't, I don't think it's picking it up on camera, where the actual air is coming out of. So we have these tiny little springs, adorable little baby springs. So yeah, I don't really know if I want to do a, a try and mod this anyways, but let's see. So it looks like, how does this go back on like this? Ah, there we go. And that should click back into place, yes. And our plunger tube should fit back in. Oh, I think I have it upside down. Hmm. How does this go back in? Like this? Now oh, let's put this back on. Have it on backwards? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, right. This part goes on here. So I'm not sure exactly how it's getting that the two-stage trigger. It has something to do with the catch mechanism here. So if these are pulled all the way back, wait, was this on top or like that? Oh, like this, perhaps? Yes. So these are going to be pulled all the way back, the two plunger tubes. And, um... Oh, I see. Okay, so you can see here that there's... Well, maybe you can't, but I'm going to try and get this on camera. So when we pull this up, it has two pieces that actually come up and release the catch. This piece right here releases one plunger tube. And this other piece right here releases the other plunger tube. So you can see when I push one up halfway, it pushes it up, and then I press it the other way, the rest of the way, and it pushes the other one up, releasing that plunger tube. So I'll show you it again. One, two. One, two. Hopefully you guys can pick that up. So that explains how it's getting the, the two-stage trigger pull. But yeah, I don't really think it's worth it to uh, mod this thing, considering the, the size of the plunger tubes and also the size of the spring. Um, because honestly, I, I don't think you'd be able to get a whole lot of power, power increase out of it. Even if you did increase the airflow, and I don't know where you would get a stronger spring from because there really aren't any other blasters that have springs that size, so. Uh, mod ability of this, I'm going to say probably practically none, and um, the only, I don't think it'd be worth it for the two-stage trigger mechanism thing. Let's see if I can get this back on here. Is it the other way? So anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for the internals. Let's move on to my final opinion. So, final opinion on the Power Rangers Dino Charge Morpher gun thing. Not even sure if I have the, the full name correct. Eh, it's terrible. Like, the performance is just awful. It won't even shoot brand new darts. These are very, very worn, very old darts. And that's the only reason that it's able to shoot them. And even when it does have darts that are... Um, terrible enough quality for it to shoot it only shoots them like five feet they basically fall out of the barrel you can see the drop off even from like this range like that the second shot is just like the first one is like five feet and the second one is like two feet at that so yeah and that's only if you have it from shoulder height like nah, this this gun is just bad uh, you, could, you could see from the um, internals that the modability of it is just not very much considering how small the plunger tubes are. You could theoretically increase the um, airflow and give it a stronger spring, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, if you really like stuff with two stage triggers, go get like a rough cut or something. Um, this gun is just not very good. Plus, they, considering the size of it, it's got, it's like, it's because it's supposed to look like something from the Power Rangers thing. Um, 
it's kind of unnecessarily big for what it is really like they could have you, you could theoretically minimize it I guess if you really wanted to so yeah and it's got these weird sticking out things on the front which make it would make it kind of a pain to holster not impossible mind you but kind of a pain but so yeah overall opinion terrible you don't need it if you find one at a thrift store don't get it the springs are so small you can't even really scrap it for parts and yeah unless you're like a fan of the power rangers franchise i guess um really no need really no real need to pick one of these up so yeah that's everything um for this video thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this um look at a interesting knockoff blaster and uh, that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one bye bye